So, disaster saves. It's one of the things this channel's known for. I've saved such horrific things as a Germany that has capitulated, bringing them back from the dead, and I've won as a Soviet Union with its armies in Siberia. What stands before me today is, well, a different matter. We're playing as the Ottoman Empire with the Sultana, so that's good. Problem is, well, that's not good, and I think I'd better just show you straight up. So it's an Iron Man mode game without historical AI focuses, so we both know this is all going to be terrible. But just how terrible is only revealed now. This is how the world is split up. The Europa Alliance, that would be our alliance for some reason, with a Russia, Russian Empire actually, that is steadily losing. And we're up against the Czech Entente, which has all the Balkans in it, as well as Germany and Republic in Italy. But before we get into the nitty gritty, thanks again to Kingdom Maker for sponsoring this video. Kingdom Maker is a free-to-play medieval fantasy game that combines elements of RTS, RPG and simulation gameplay to create an immersive, massively multiplayer world, available on iOS and Android. Now, As ruler of your kingdom, you can customize everything, from where your city is placed to how your nobles look and everything in between. You make love, war, boinking and intrigue as ruler of your kingdom in the world of Kingdom Maker. Now, I love how you can not only just customize your ruler, but also the fact that your offspring will randomly inherit some of those traits. Now, the customization is a nice touch for a mobile game. Also, fun fact, you can move any of your buildings by tapping on them, holding and then dragging them where you want. So you can remake your kingdom as many times as you like. And that is quite handy if you want to keep things clean. Kingdom Maker is free to play on iOS and Android. Use my link in the description below to download and I'm sure you'll find it a charming experience. Now, back to the main content. Now, the person who sent this in said he was fighting along the Czech Entente, destroying fascist Italy. And right after victory, where the Germans puppeted Italy, Germany declared war or joined Greece's war and everything spiraled out of control with his armies out of position. Just how out of position are the Ottoman armies? Well, half of them are stuck in here. They're never going to be able to get out. They are completely broken. Like, <laughs> pathfinding AI has just given up and the main bulk of the army is stuck here dying in Italy <sighs> okay so I have some ideas uh, oh so also there there is a British Empire and the United Kingdom <laughs> this is so stupid oh okay Okay, enough, enough stupidity. So I'm gonna delete all the orders. Just everybody's order is getting deleted. I need to fully reorganize. I will need to guard my coast. The enemy will have total naval dominance. But first things first, I need to fall back to a position I can actually hold. So I'm gonna set my field marshal and we're gonna be parking ourselves on... Uh, something like this, if I can make it work. Of course, I'm gonna need to allow access to these tiles. Everybody is manually headed back back to Constantinople. Maybe we can make something happen if I can get all of my troops back home. These guys. <laughs> I need to pull my army out. Um, I think the quickest and most reliable way of getting this done is to assign a couple of units to a separate army, give them any general, spam last stands, sort of like that, yeah. And then just extract the units I can. Just start pulling everyone back to Constantinople. I cannot make them go to out to sea like this, that doesn't work. But if I right click another naval base of mine, they will withdraw. I don't know if it's a bug or a feature, but I'll take it. And these guys just pull back to Genoa. So I will need to micromanage extracting my troops from Italy. The troops in the Balkan, I don't know if I can actually save them. The pathfinding here has completely broken because they are stuck in hostile territory now. Uh, they're fighting and not fighting. It's yeah, it's, it's not not something I enjoy. I don't need suppressed subjects. Ooh, we have subjects, so that's ooh. Yeah, most of those are dead. <laughs> I don't need suppressed subjects. What I need is to look at the focus tree. So most of the stuff's done. I will pick up refining our strategies for some bonuses. And I will pick up like the naval bases here, the dockyards. They're going to be very valuable if I'm going to do anything at sea. Maybe build a, a hunter killer submarine fleet. 
I might do good. Like, there's some bonuses left, but most of the stuff's done. What I need right now, though, is army training. Just to replace the horrific army losses I am about to take. Just gonna spam anything I can. Force deploy them around Constantinia. It's 1943. Why are you on partial mobilization? Go to war economy as soon as you can. In our case, I think I'll just go to straight to total mobilization. I need the economy. I need the economy. I'll, I'll make up for the manpower loss later when I get my stability back up. Speaking of stability, uh, let's grab some free stability by picking political loyalty. Okay, that helps. Uh, rest of this is okay. All right, fire, superior firepower is good. Flexible organization is okay. Might switch to smoke and fire if I need the extra breakthrough later. I said I'd get some doctrine bonuses, but that can wait. I need... Do I need anything? Like, the initial bonuses aren't that good. So I'll just hold on to the, uh, to the army XP for now. What I need is my troops to get home. The navy. Navy is in shambles. Let's also send the navy back home. You will serve no purpose here. Just strike force the Black Sea. And I'll split off all submarines. I can use the subs in a separate fleet. And I think I can use them to go uh, convoy hunting in the Black Sea. What else? In terms of construction. Ooh, that is a lot of railways. Yeah, let's let's just cancel all of those. Don't don't need those. Instead, let's get the railways here. This is going to be our front line. I need this working at peak capacity. Other than that, I need to make sure that you know the <laughs> Turkish railway network is improved because this is dog shit. Uh, plug every naval base into the supply hub as well into the network, so nothing has to go by sea. Things that go by sea will get sunk. I do not at all have the capabilities of protecting my convoys for now. So everything will have to go via land. It's gonna hook up the entire network. We're also going to make a connection between the current capital of Russia and our own railway network. We'll upgrade this later, but um, Baku <laughs> is the current Russian capital. And I wanna rush troops here to defend Baku. It will buy the Russian several months. There are some victory points here and it shields the Russian oil. Does Germany actually have oil rights here? Wouldn't surprise me. Other than that, having a, an army in the, this region will allow me to deal with these two countries. They've split off from Russia. I'm, ex I'm guessing the civil war and they're both democratic, which means they might just flip and join Germany's faction at some point. Same with many of these Stan countries, but those are troubles for later. Our puppets are not in the war. I'm not gonna pull them in. I do not want those puppets in the war. They're terrible as it is. All right, what else can we do? Uh, I'm first gonna get political power so I can go to total mobilization. Then I'm gonna use republicanism to get myself stability. Populism might be nice to get us more manpower. I don't need this. I don't need this. Jihad is nice, as is fidelity, and all the rest I don't need. We'll keep an eye on some of these decisions. Like, Ottoman Empire gets a lot of really good decisions. Just don't have the political power right now. Might just be best not to take a focus so I can stake some of these decisions, because there's some really good ones in here. Investment possibilities might be nice if they work. Resources, very nice. Reforming the Ottoman Empire would be nice, but <laughs> an extra factories, like a lot of good stuff in here but you've not really used much of it i hope we can survive long enough to get some use out of them air force well it's trash so let's pull them all back home all right i'm gonna unpause and we're gonna carefully make sure that we don't die i'm also gonna cancel all of our trades just so i can do this via land and that reminds me production stockpiles are mostly green so i'm just gonna balance out my production a little we'll need some trucks we'll need some of that need some of that don't need that many trains i will need improved anti-air quite a lot of it first things to sacrifice are going to be things like cas fighters this is the sort of stuff that i will have to sacrifice first if i lose factories god yeah this balkan army is, is done for it's gone there's no getting these units out my one hope is just to extricate the units out of italy anyone else is is gone anyway all right so that is the main ottoman strength extracted hopefully they will actually make it to constantinople i'm trying to get divisions to man this front line <laughs> <laughs> because there is a German juggernaut rolling my way. Oh, they're a coming. 
they are a coming. Let's also go to total mobilization. This is going to cost me a lot of manpower, I know. Next step will be to get 10% stability. I'm going to get that through the decisions. Uh, Republicanism should work. And then I can go up to women in the workforce. I don't know where it is. War measures. Here we go. Women in the workforce. Oh, I forgot to check your research. That's fine. No tanks. I can respect that. You don't really need them. We might dabble if I need a breakthrough unit. I might want to pick up your artillery a little behind there. Uh, rest seems okay. Like I, I get that you want to go for cast. Might be a little late now. What I want to do is get a submarine fleet going. So a high quality subs, but I'll just let you finish what you're researching and then I'll focus on getting high quality subs, keeping my industry running, but I think you've got most of your industry techs. Yeah, so we'll focus on fuel, high quality subs, and picking up some of that artillery. Once that's done, uh, I might dabble with armor just to allow us to get a breakthrough unit going. Germans have already made contact. I'm going to hit last stand against my better judgment and railroad as many divisions into... Oh, for God's sake, we're already getting pushed. Need to hold, I need to hold. Oh. <laughs> We're already getting pushed. Fine. Just hold Alexandropolis then. Okay, we are actually getting some troops into position. I'll reorganize the army once more divisions have actually reached us. Um, a lot of my stuff is getting sunk though. These convoys are just sitting ducks. I have a feeling that this is going to be a bit of a nightmare. Uh, what, do what are you using here? This is... I wouldn't say terrible, but not what I like. This is better. This is what I want to feel. 21 with. It's still do for now. Once I get the front line established, I am going for something more like this. It's going to cost us more manpower and artillery, but it will bring the firepower I desperately need into the field. So I'm going to get these boys ready. All right, a little more and I can deploy those additional units. I've changed everything over to my new preferred template. I should have the equipment and manpower for it. This will also take a massive, massive bite out of the enemy whenever they charge into my line. At least I can hope. <laughs> um, that leaves me with 28 borrowed divisions from my puppets, mostly Iran. Once the front line stabilizes, I will use those Iranian divisions to uh, man my garrisons. For some reason, Troops are not really flooding in as quickly as I'd like, but I think we're getting there. Bubbles are turning green. All right, I'm going to pull the Iranian troops out and start garrisoning my coast because if I don't, I might as well just give up now. I need this secured. Naval landing now would kill me. I have nothing to cover additional flanks with. Okay, so I'm, I'm starting to think this might be something I can get under control at some point. Oh, dear Lord. Force deploy my units uh, and start reinforcing my army, I guess. So two full armies on one front. That leaves me with enough units to make a secondary army. So this third army, uh, Mehmet, Mehmet, you take that army and you park it here and hope to God the Russians don't screw this up. Take your army there. And these last five divisions, uh, I'll leave them around Constantinople as reserves. Never know when you're gonna need them. Could train more units, but manpower might be a little tight. So this will be my coastal guard. Good, you can stay. You can be my main infantry. Ooh, you can be my military police. Absolutely. Gonna get rid of everything else here. I'll hold on to the motorized, might build on these, and the tank division's garbage. This is utter trash, so not even worth keeping. All right. And everything on local police force is gonna be enough trouble as it is. Okay, decisions, republicanism, and I'm gonna keep spamming that until my stability is fixed. I can get some more manpower going again. Couple more of these infantry units. I cannot afford to run out of manpower though. I just noticed a giant train of Russian units coming down to my front line. Please go away man your own front and I think the only way I can make that happen is by turning off the allied supply on these hubs. Like I appreciate the gesture Alexander or whoever is in charge now but I do not want your Russian trash on my front. Not now. Please just go away. Defend yourself. You're gonna need all all of the troops there. If I can get my divisions into the Caucasus front quickly enough I might just be able to save your ass here. Do a little counterattack until we get a good river position and then we'll see from there. Might also launch a naval invasion around Crimea. I can use that as a kill box since Ukraine is not involved. I would just need to land around Kerch and continuously destroy everything on Crimea and pull out and just rinse and repeat and just keep destroying Russian divisions. All right, time to rework my production lines. These are looking pretty 
pretty bad. So, yeah. I'll need more military factories. Try not to overspend on artillery. Yeah, we'll, we'll fix this up as we get more stuff. We'll get more stuff eventually. I'm probably going to get maintenance companies as well so I can use some of the enemy stuff against them as well. All right, classic. I'm starting to get things organized and I'm getting naval invaded. Brilliant. Fortunately, I have some reserves in the area, so they better move out. Uh, this defense might be a little spicier than I had anticipated. Uh, a lot spicier. Fortunately, we are really obliterating their divisions. Okay, we got a Dirn back. Uh, it looks like Germany left for some reason, which means <laughs> we're pushing again. This is so stupid. Okay, that's an opportunity. If I can take Grozny now, you know, I'll take Grozny now. That will be local supply in Russian or Turkish hands. Exploit that. <sighs> like this is half of the reason why so even the worst, almost the worst disaster saves can be saved. The AI is sometimes just incredibly stupid. Like the entire German army here decided to leave. Now they're of course coming back, but it's a little late now. I have the supply hubs and I'm not going to give them back. I'm not the AI. So I'm going to make an attack up to this river line here, like this river down into the mountains. That is a good position to hold. If I can push up to there, I'll be happy. Yeah, and this is rock solid. They're not getting anything through here. Rock solid. I keep working on my cryptology. German cipher, of course. Like every victory point I can secure for Russia is just a lifesaver. They are on their last legs here. Leading manpower, but I can't take republicanism yet. So I'm just going to quickly take the infantry specialist. I promoted one of my generals. This guy, uh, I gave him infantry leader, infantry expert. That unlocked the officer call role officer core role infantry specialist i'm gonna hire him now he's gonna give us a little bit of an extra edge in the field turkish military command isn't all that brilliant but uh gotta take what you can get i'm gonna halt this offensive for a while just dig in hold rebuild and then go on the offensive when there's an opportunity we don't want to overextend we've hurt the germans but we haven't really hurt them enough to really be comfortable up here god they're stacking 20 plus divisions on one tile well to be fair so am i so who am i to judge well, I'm right outside Astrakhan, so if I can actually get there, I can get to that supply hub, though. Ooh, baby. That would be huge. Huge. All right, it looks like we'll be able to pierce through here and get to Astrakhan. Oh, or maybe not. Maybe, maybe not. We'll see. Well, if I'm able to reinforce meme the divisions in Astrakhan, that is something. Meanwhile, this front's holding. I'm confident that I'll at least not lose. So <laughs> there is that. Please let me into Astrakhan. Please just let me in. Can't even force attack. It's too expensive. Oh, I'm, am I doing it? I am pushing. I am pushing. Oh, it's turning red. It's turning red. Come on. Come on. Come on. Just do it. Just do it. Ah, oh, pinning attacks. Of course, pinning attacks. Come on. Take Astrakhan. If we can win this combat, I might just get units into Astrakhan. Come on, come on, Went, get it. Oh, oh, they reinforced me. All right, this is pointless. Uh, it's costing me way too much in terms of manpower and equipment. I'm falling back to the, well, more defensible line here. Let the Russians bleed if they want to. It's, it's not worth it for me. Okay, women in the workforce, that's good. We're starting to get some manpower again. And if need arises, I can always go to service by requirement. That should solve our manpower issues short term. Political power is good. Well, okay. So we're getting some doctrines and then I'm shifting over to my ships. I'm going to pull those 10 uh, infantry divisions off the main front line. It looks stable enough. I'm going to use them for a little naval invasion. I'm going to try to hit the port of Kerch and then uh, retake Crimea. Not only is it going to be amazing to get those factories back into Russian hands, it's going to give them some victory points, push them a little bit further away from the brink of destruction and buy me time. What I need is time, really. A lot of time. Uh, manpower losses are mounting, but I am hurting the Germans more than they are hurting me. Ooh, did the Russians dip further? Yeah, they're still losing. They're getting pushed all along the front. Slowly but surely, they'll, they'll lose. Fortunately, I know Russians uh, should be able to hold out for a long time, like past the Urals. And if I can retake Sebastopol for them, that's a lot of victory points. With everything else being fairly stable, I'm going to launch this name. Oh, uh, okay. That went off a lot easier than I would have assumed. <laughs> I guess the enemy doesn't really care about Kerch then. I'll leave three units to defend and everybody else just takes Sevastopol quickly. 
I had expected there to be more Germans here, but I guess it just makes it easier. Uh, a lot of people just capitulated, sure. All right, then. <laughs> We've got that secured. Russians should have a couple more factories, and they're a little... Oh, yeah, that, that has given them another lease on life. At least for a couple more months. Like, I'm just drawing it out for them. If I could somehow link up Crimea with the Caucasus again, that would be great. But I don't think it's in the cards right now. Seeing as manpower is an issue, I'm going to keep spamming things like Jihad and Fidelity. Always nice. I'm going to get myself another Republicanism. More stability is always good. And then I'm going to save political power to take his Zionists, assign new generals, and just improve the country overall. Country needs a lot of improving. I'm just so shocked at how many men Russia is willing to throw away at a lost cause. The AI just keeps attacking despite knowing very well that it's not going to go anywhere. Stop attacking for god's sake just stop fall back to defensible train and hold and you might actually end up winning all right let's go with some submarines so what's currently in production is sub threes sub threes are usually what i go with sub fours are a lot more expensive now what i do for sub threes is to research sub fours and cram level four modules into a submarine three hull it keeps the cost now they're still very good Slap on the best snorkel you can find, and they are virtually invisible to the AI. Virtually invisible. And they will shred anything the AI can throw at you. And just mass produce these bad boys. As many of them as you can. Throw them at the enemy in numbers beyond counting, and they will start sinking the enemy fleet. So fortunately, as long as I can hold, I can really bleed Germany. And Germany is the only real opposition I see here besides Czechoslovakia. Eventually. Oh great, the firepower my units can provide is at least buying us away into some of these border tiles. If I can just edge my way forward, <laughs> maybe I can gobble up Bulgaria. Bulgaria out of the picture. Things become possible. Maybe not probable, but possible. Oh, we're just deleting these units, though. Good firepower on my divisions. Service by requirement, it is. Oh, that's gonna suck for our industry, but it will have to. It will have to endure. Oh my god, that is a giant Bulgarian tank moving in. Wow, that is a big tank. All right, all right, all right, all right. Maybe we can cheese an encirclement here. Come on, make it happen. <laughs> <laughs> Made it happen. Well, it's not huge, but it's something. Oh, okay. I'm thinking I'll try and push towards Macedonia. Or, well, is that Bulgaria? With no leader in Macedonia. <laughs> what the hell? What the hell? This is two Bulgarias. Anyway, I'll try and push towards this neutral border. And then I can focus uh, part of my strength to take out Greece, take out Albania. Just start gobbling up these smaller countries while I just hold in the north. Caucasus front, still strong. Nothing happening here. And Crimea, not threatened at all. And Russia's still dying, just slowly. Uh, okay. What are you doing, Poland? <laughs> oh, God. That was not... The best move you ever... Yeah, Poland, that suicide. Oh god, I'd love to see this. My glorious counterattack in Bulgaria is actually going remarkably well. I'm meeting some resistance here and there, but I've pushed all the way up to Sofia. And I hold most of the Danube front. You can see the enemies are... Well, they, they do have some supply issues. That is definitely helping me along. I'm keeping my supply network well connected as I move along. Uh, my motorized units have had stop here. Like, they are plugging the gap here. They are holding the hot gates. Thermopylae is being fought in reverse here. That's fine. Um, I'm going to focus on pushing all the way up to the Danube. Uh, I am getting more and more artillery pieces, like railway guns. Very nice. I'm starting to get my submarine force up and running. They are wrecking havoc on the Black Sea. Oh, one thing I do need to do. I constantly have to turn off allied supply on every supply hub I capture. Because if I don't, for some reason, Russia marches its entire army over. I, they're very eager to help. I appreciate that. But Russia, you have other concerns. Oh, this is, this is a brave Poland here. This is a very brave Poland. Oh, no. Oh, Russia has a war goal on Kazakhstan. Russia, don't. 
Please don't go to war with Kazakhstan. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, they got a war goal on Georgia as well. And Armenia. Oh, they did some sort of stupid focus, didn't they? Please don't use those war goals. Oh, please don't use those war goals, Russia. Don't don't throw this away now. All right, considering Russia might do something stupid, um, gonna queue up another army just to hold them in reserve around Trapson. I have a distinct feeling Russia's gonna declare war on one of those miners, maybe even Kazakhstan. Oh. Oh, please don't be that stupid, Russia. You know, it just dawned on me. Last time I checked in on Russia, um, the front was at Kazan. Russia pulled too many troops away and is wasting... Oh, they're wasting all of their divisions. They're gonna capitulate there. I need to save Russia somehow. Don't know how. Um, Maybe I can deploy the army I was gonna deploy in traps on, on this border and uh, redirect my motorized to do something in the Caucasus region. I don't know, but I need to pull some sort of trick here. Uh, if Russia caps, these troops get encircled. Oh, <laughs> this is such a pain. Oh, Russia, please just hold. Where, where's your army? Where is the Russian army? It's gotten significantly smaller since last I checked. You've managed to lose so much ground. There's barely Germans opposing you. Considering Russia's on death's door, I've moved up my defensive line some. They'll just have to sit there and wait. I'm trying to build another supply hub here on the very edges so I can have some room to maneuver. Once that completes, I hope it completes on time. I have also decided I'm going to pull Afghanistan into the war. That will allow me to make a quick strike against these small stam republics and all that land should flip back to russia it's their core maybe that will help them not fall apart i don't know i'm just trying to throw stuff at the wall and see what sticks the only reason i'm pulling afghanistan is because it can't be naval invaded so i don't have to garrison it uh other than that the greek front is holding there's no pushing going on there it's just not gonna work out the bulgarian front has stalled out again mostly because i am diverting all of my attention to keeping russia in the fight they are 98 percent of the way there i Oh god, like, this is getting me mad anxiety. I don't... Oh, Russia loses the next major victory point and Russia's dead. Uh, fortunately, there isn't any major victory point for a while, I think. Oh, Umsk. Yeah, if Umsk goes, Russia goes. <laughs> fortunately, I am carving up the republics here, the, the various stands, and then feeding the land back to Russia. That might just enable them to stick in the fight a little bit longer. I'm willing to try just about anything to get the Russians back in some sort of fighting shape. I'm gonna send them guns, artillery, so much stuff. I just need Russia not to die. Sending them so much stuff right now. Look at that. Uh, in 30 days, I hope it arrives and they can use it. Oh, use that equipment to churn out troops to Russia. And that supply hub is almost done. So when the stands die, I'm repositioning my motorized to this region and I'm gonna strike out and try to link up with Crimea. That's a couple of victory points there and then push up towards Rostov, Volgograd, you know, trying to <laughs> not let Russia die. I've also been carefully eking my way towards the Danube line, so that is very well entrenched. Uh, I'm probably gonna try and eat uh, Serbia next and then we'll see, like, I have a lot of divisions arrayed against me. Most of them German. And Italy is also starting to crank out troops now, so... But we have killed 6 million Germans. 2.6 on our account. 2.2 million... Oh my god, look at what Poland did. Whoa! Poland killed 2.2 million Germans. All right, Poland has mad... I have mad respect for Poland now. The way they've just held like that. Absolute chads. All right, so that is... All of the little stands destroyed. I'm gonna bring the motorized back. Oh god, they took horrific casualties. But I'm gonna bring the motorized back to this region. I'm gonna go on a little blitz. Like that will do. Try and cut off so many units between Kerch and the coast there. The supply hub should be built soon. And then we can hurt the enemy some more. Now that we have a supply hub in the region, we can actually start doing something here. Alright, let's get carving. Every victory point I can retake for the Russian Empire is just another day of survival I can buy them. Lord knows they need it. Oh, looks like we might be able to... Come on, close it, close it. All right, small section of the line encircled. Let's start carving them to pieces. Whatever I can do. Yes! Okay, so every little victory point I take is just another lease on life for Russia, and Lord knows they need it. Try and... Sneak a truck in there. Come on. 
sneak a truck in there and that should cut them all off. Oh yeah, it does cut all these guys off. So that is a lot of divisions we'll be able to destroy there. I'm gonna focus on that and I just need my infantry to hold to the north. Good. Okay, it looks like we're starting to turn this around. It looks like we're starting to turn this around. Oh yes, oh yes, look at that. Look at that. Oh, it feels good to strike back, doesn't it? And we've not taken that many losses. Fighting defensive wars is a lot easier than fighting an offensive war. So we may end up still losing a lot of men and a lot of equipment as we progress. The Germans have bled far more than we have. Like, look at their uh, manpower. Down to 400,000 and they're on service by requirement. So they're gonna, <laughs> they're gonna feel this. Oh, it's costing me most of my manpower though. Fortunately, I can always mobilize more. There's always more men ready to die for the Khalifa or the Sultana. And just like that, we have the entire German army here encircled to just destroy them. And I've got a pretty good feeling about this. I've got a pretty good feeling about this. Russia is coming back. They are starting to build divisions again. I did send them boatloads of equipment. That should help them, definitely. So for the time being, Russia is saved for at least a little bit longer. Hey, they're very much saved. That means I can bring my might to bear against Germany. Our submarine fleet is wrecking havoc on the enemy. We're, sh we're sinking ships left, right, and center, and we're barely losing anything. <laughs> there goes most of the Italian Navy. Oh, that's brilliant. All right, bring in my trucks home, and we're gonna go take a stab at Serbia. I just need to knock people out of this and defeat whatever's left piecemeal. Oh boy, I think I've just trapped 22 Italian divisions in whatever this province is. I have a this thing feeling they had plans for a naval invasion that I may or may not have just foiled. So I'm gonna focus my attention on keeping them contained in there while I of course destroy them everywhere else. Oh, I find this amusing. Oh, I find this amusing. They've been thorn in my side for a very long time, but I am coming back from the dead with a vengeance. Oh boy, um, I, th I think I've just broken the axis, well, they're not the axis, I've just broken the enemy lines here, and there's nothing, nothing in the rear, so I'm just pushing up as far as I can go. Put our Romanian puppet back on the map, that's a sight for sore eyes. What if I just set my full field marshal order to go aggressively, just push, just grind the enemy into dust. It's gonna be expensive, but I think it might be worth it. We might be able to get something out of this. Ah, that's one down. Several more to go. But the meat grinder has started now. I am losing a lot of manpower, but I'm gailing like 4.7 every month. Uh, Equipment-wise, still good. Need a lot more artillery, though. So maybe just ramp down gun production, ramp up artillery production. It's an expensive life, after all. I am very confident that I will eventually bring this meat grinder straight to Berlin. Russia is surviving. Russia is not thriving, but Russia is at least surviving. Come on, slaughter them where they stand. And one by one, these tiny dominoes fall. Everyone that caps just provides me with more equipment. Always more equipment. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Oh, man, if we end up winning this, it's gonna be the hardest fought campaign of my life. I am exhausted. I've been here for hours, but oh, it feels so good to be winning. My God, look at how far Russia's been pushed past the Urals. Only reason Russia is still alive is because of this maneuver here. The maneuver we pulled in the Caucasus and what we did for them in the, well, the, the Stan region. That's the only reason Russia hasn't gone up, given up and gone home. I want to take out some of these smaller Balkan countries just to get my front narrowed down. Uh oh. I have a distinct feeling this is going to be a problem. I'm going to pull all my motorists back here because they have landed a significant number of troops. And while I do have a significant number of garrisons, uh, that's not going to be enough. Not now that they have a port. So I'm going to rush in all of my motorized. The front will have to wait. And oh, dear Lord, I need to rely on my submarines. <sighs> I need to rely on my submarines to ensure I don't get completely completely wrecked from the rear now. I got so caught up in my European campaign, I wasn't paying attention to my defenses. This is on me, this is entirely on me, but it's okay, it's okay. We have time to react, we are reacting. It's gonna be fine, it's gonna be fine. All right, April 47, my campaign has been going on for a very, very long time. I've killed four million Germans, they're up to nine million casualties. 
of which 3 million by Poland. Uh, Italy lost a million men as well. Czechs lost 2 million. Wow, they must be at their limit. I, however, have lost 1.5 million. This has been a very expensive campaign. Fortunately, I can literally keep printing out fresh troops. So that is exactly what I'm going to do. I keep hitting uh, fidelity and jihad or populism. I keep printing out more troops along with the Sultana. And there goes Greece. Thank you. God for that. Oh, look at that. Another pocket. There goes another one of these tiny Balkan countries. We're pushing up. We are pushing up. Uh, still no naval superiority, so I can't naval invade Italy. That would be the quick way out. I'm just gonna have to push my way north steadily ever onwards. Oh yeah, we've, uh, I think we've broken them. Now I can go for Italy with very little risk because they are isolated from the rest of their faction now. Austria is in the way and uh, with Italy out of my, out of commission, I can then focus every everything on throwing my army on Germany and Czechs and that should be it. Russians are advancing even here so Russia wants to, wants to dick around. Russia can dick around for all I care. Oh and there goes Livonia because the United Kingdom invaded. <laughs> oh it's all coming crashing down for you now isn't it Axis? It's all crashing down for you now. I am just a little concerned about the fact that Russia just keeps losing more land in in the east while gaining more in the west they have a peculiar strategy going on here so i think at this point the entire world is at war with each other doesn't really matter the czech entente is crushed it's just germany and czechoslovakia and most of the german army is trapped in this gigantic pocket uh, russia did do a dumb and pulled alash orda and all of its old republics into the fight i don't really care this is almost over together with polish troops we are just thundering through Germany now we yeah this is this is over like I am just gonna bring my trucks over here and we're gonna go on a little field trip and we're gonna take what we can from Germany before they capitulate losses have been horrific 1.8 million losses for the Ottoman Empire 6.2 million Russian losses but they are back in the fight 1 million Poles but oh man 10 million casualties for Germany 4.6 by us but look at Poland 3.2 million and Poland never capped Poland never gave up they kept fighting and they bled Germany dry I am very impressed by that move this is done Latvia has capped Czechoslovakia has capped and Ger no actually what so everyone's involved in this peace deal except for Germany okay all right that first peace deal was pretty disgusting for some reason we're still at war with Germany but uh we could take we, we were able to take a good pound of flesh in the Balkans uh there you go we've restored the vilayet of Bosnia the rest of this stuff I'm really not gonna bother gonna kill the Germans one more peace deal and it's over and I can finally go to bed oh and that is it I'm going to do one more peace deal and that's that's enough for me for the day that's it. Took us a long time. I think it was, uh, was this a four-year campaign, but we've won. The Ottoman Empire stands triumphant. There's still some wars going on. Minor power struggling with Russia. I really don't care. Also, why is Rozaevsky in charge now? Oh, they went fascist? No. Someone explain to me where the Romanov went. The Romanov's just gone. Actually, I don't really care. We saved the worst Ottoman Empire. All the worst disaster save have just been handed. We've made a mess of the map of the world. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I really had fun. My brain is fried. Please watch the next video. Thank you.